Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Dandy TV. Now, this week I wanted to experience what it would be like to be a monkey. Sadly, my monkey transmogrifies at the cleaners. So instead, I've come to Go Ape to experience what it's like to be a monkey firsthand. Climb up trees, go down zip wires, all in the snow, that sort of thing. Also, we've got the latest video game reviews with our friends at IGN and the best of your jokes. But first, before all of that, oh, time for the Dandy News. That's dangerous. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thanks very much, Chris. We start with the news that an author has won an award for his book on gravity. One reviewer said the book was impossible to put down. Cola factory workers were left scared after 5,000 cans fell on them during a shift. One worker said it could have been much worse, but luckily they were soft drinks. The inventor of the boomerang was left slightly embarrassed after he forgot how the device worked. He said, I was flummoxed for a while, but then it came back to me. And finally, in sports news, Usain Bolt has cured his fear of hurdles. He said, I used to be terrified, but eventually I got over it. That's it for this week's Dandy News. Bye-bye. Being a monkey is ace. The only problem, obviously, with being a monkey is you don't have computer games. But thankfully, because I haven't transmogrified into an actual monkey, I can play computer games. And to find out which ones I should be playing, let's go over to our friends at IGN and get the lowdown. Hello, welcome. I'm Daniel from IGN. And I'm Tom from IGN. So we spend most of our days playing video games. We have all the consoles, but we play a lot of games on our mobile phones these days. I guess you do too. Yeah, so uh, we're talking iPhones, but also uh, iPod Touches and iPads. Yeah, and if you can steal your thing. parents' iPads. That's probably the best way to play a lot of these games. So the first game we're going to talk about is Ridiculous Fishing. Yeah, I hate fishing, it's so boring. Yeah, fishing is quite <laughs> boring, but would fishing be made better for you if you use toasters and chainsaws? Yeah, infinitely. Yeah. So you play as a little man who sat on a boat out in the sea, and you cast your line down into the water, and you've got to tilt your phone or your iPad to sort of um, thread the um, hook through lots of different fish, yeah. avoiding them. Try to get it as far down as you possibly can, and there's loads of really weird fish down there that you can catch. And then, once you hit the bottom, it starts to reel its way back up and you've got to catch as many fish as you can. Then you throw them up into the air and you attack them. And it is, kind of in true keeping with its name, quite, quite ridiculous. Um, and how much is it? It is $1.99 and it's on iOS and it's on Android. Okay, so you don't have to have an iPhone or an iPod or an no. iPod Touch. and it's got no microtransactions, so you can't rack up thousands and thousands of pounds. That's two quid well spent, I think. Yes. Um, so the, my favourite game on uh, iPhone and iPad at the moment is a game called Joe Danger. Which I know you're a big fan of as well. Yeah, but you, 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 he's kind of your idol. He's my idol. He's like uh, he's like a motorcycling Mario. That's basically how I like to think of him. He's a stuntman and he uh, is filming movies all the time. So he's learning how to do stunts. And also all his levels are based around movies. And so there's a lot of car chases. You can jump over like ridiculous things like um, sharks, uh, shark infested pools. Um, there's policemen chasing you, all sorts of stuff. Um, and the touch version is really good. Uh, it's got really cool um, uh, like controls, so you swipe to move Joe around the uh, track. Because you can also get it for Xbox and PlayStation if you have one of those as yeah, well. Yeah, and, and it works really well. Like a lot of touch controls, kind of are quite fiddly and yeah. unresponsive if you're used to using a joystick or yeah. a, a con gamepad. And the absolute best thing about Joe Danger is the music. The music yeah. is amazing. Can you whistle it? No, I'm not going to whistle no, it. I won't do it justice. Spot. But yeah, you need to hear that. That's also 1.99. That's only available on iOS at the moment. So that's iPad, iPhone, and. Uh, iPod Touch. Wow. And the last one is called Magica, the Wizards of the Square Tablet. Okay. Now, from that title, you could probably sense it has a good sense of humour. Now, Magica was a game that was out on PC for a long time, and you play as wizards. And while that sound, might sound a little bit dry, it's actually really, really funny, and it takes um, the mick out of itself quite a lot. So you go through really detailed, colourful, almost kind of Adventure Time um, style worlds where there's vampires and goblins and aliens with one massive eye, and you combine spells to um, defeat them. So it's kind of a side-scrolling brawler. Yeah. Uh, it's one pound forty-nine. It's all only on iPad yeah. and Android. But we should say it does have microtransactions, so you have to be very careful that you don't spend a million pounds <laughs> and end up homeless on the yeah. streets. 
Um, it sounds a bit sort of Harry Potter, yeah. Lord of the Rings, as and it's, it's really got a really good sense of humour. So good, I'll definitely check that out. I'm definitely going to check that out as well. So, uh, so let's move on to the Lego that we have here. The first set is from The Hobbit, um, and the, there's quite a big range for The Hobbit. Um, not all of it is uh, quite expensive. This bit, this is uh, 49.99, and this set is called Attack of the Wargs. The Wargs or Wargs? Wargs. It's Wargs. Yeah. Um, and as you can see, I don't know if you've seen The Hobbit, but there's a scene um, in the movie where the uh, the, um, the dwarves are in a tree and they're being attacked by the orcs. Yes. They're also on wargs. It's quite spoilerific. This is it towards the end of the movie. Yeah, but you know, um, it's a great scene. Yes. Um, it's quite scary. This guy here uh, is the like he's almost like the leader of the orcs. Yes, he's the, the big bad guy. Pale one. You also get um, these little guys as well. These are actual orcs. Uh, one with a sword. One with a bow and arrow. And if you see tucked away in here, you get two of the dwarves. Um, do you remember which two they are? They are Biffa and Thorin. There you go. Well, I think this is a really good set because Lego is usually really good at making buildings. Quite difficult to make organic things like trees and rocks. But I think they've done a pretty good job. Of doing that with the set, yeah, and um, little mushrooms down at the bottom, nice little detail. Yeah, uh, it's it's really detailed. Uh, it's a great set, um, but there are also other sets as well that um, aren't quite so expensive. Yes. So if you need to save up for them, uh, but this one's particularly good because you can flick stuff like that, projectiles like they do in the movie. Cool. And there's a little. If you look down here, there's a little tiny hidden skull, slightly morbid. That's my favourite bit. Morbid Lego. Yeah. Um, the next set, well, the thing I'm probably most excited about this year is Iron Man 3. Yes. This is new Iron Man movie is coming out at the end of April, near my birthday. And to celebrate, Lego have released some very special Iron Man 3 Lego sets. And this is yeah. the first Iron Man film, so the first Marvel film after the Avengers. Yeah, so this is following on from the Avengers. So if you've seen this, this is what's happening to Tony Stark after the events of that movie. So the first set is this, which is Tony Stark's Malibu Mansion. So if we go flip it around here so you can have a look inside. We've got a little we've got a little kitchen which has here has a blender with little tiny Lego oranges in. Yeah. It's a health freak. Yeah, he, he lives in like California. A, yeah, he does like his juice, doesn't he? Yeah. Tony Stark. So, but it's all really about Iron Man himself. Yeah. So you can even lift up his little helmet to see little Tony Stark's face. Wow, I did not know that. And who's that at the back there? So that at the back is Pepper Potts, who's yeah. played by Gwyneth Paltrow. She's in the Avengers briefly, that's kind of his girlfriend she lives there yeah and it's really detailed it's got lots of little stickers it's got a little workbench where you can work on the iron man suits it's got little um cupboards that open up wow and it's got a little space there where you can keep your iron man suits if you have any more from other sets because there are other sets that are a bit cheaper than this one how much is yes this, one? this one's um 34.99 so that's kind yeah. of a mid-range lego set and you do get the bad guy in that as well you get the mandarin okay but if you're a bit more um pressed for money you can get smaller sets that have basically Iron Man in, that's who you want. And that's twelve ninety nine. This is a smaller set. You get um, you get Iron Man and you get the Mandarin, who's the main villain in the new movie. So I think for twelve ninety nine that's quite a cool little set and you get the figures which is kind of what you really want. Yeah, can I keep that one? No. Okay. My favourite bit though is this little guy who, if you remember from uh, Iron Man 1 and 2, is basically a little robot that has lots of character but actually is just a little robot. <laughs> and it helps him build the suit and it, what's quite a nice detail, it's got a little tiny suitcase on it which holds the foldable, the foldable Iron Man suit from Iron Man 2. Excellent. And there's a whole range of Avengers sets you can get. Yeah, so there's a lot of superheroes Lego. Um, you can get the, the Hulk, you can get Spider-Man sets, you can get Deadpool, Wolverine, and it should be said, if you've played the Batman Lego game, later this year they bring out a video game based on the Marvel characters, so you'll be able to play as Iron Man, Hulk and all those guys in a video game later this year. Amazing, can't wait to see that. That's probably my most anticipated game of the year, but you already knew that. <laughs> I already knew that, yeah. Um, so is that it for this time? That's it for this time, that's what we're going to be playing with this month, and join us later for more stuff. Yes, thanks for joining us. This place has got everything! As well as fun zip wires, you get to drive through horrible tubes like these! Hey, wanna hear a joke? What did the monkey say when he got into a bath that was too hot? <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's see if you can do better. Time for your jokes! Oh, oh it's making a weird noise! A horse walked into the shop and asked for like, a can of coke. The shopkeeper said, yes, but why the wrong face?
What do you call it when a bull and a dog collide? A bulldog. What do you call a man who wears paper trousers? I don't know. What do you call a man that wears paper trousers? Russell. Those jokes were brilliant, and if you think you can make us laugh, email us a video of your favourite jokes to jokesatdanny.com. That's all we've got time for this week, but get yourself down to Go Ape, it's brilliant. Bye!